There had been at least a half a dozen flashes before the three of us moved to the bedroom. When they left, I wrapped myself in my bathrobe and went into my backyard with a flashlight in one hand and a chef knife in the other. Nothing was out of place. Wendell had raked the leaves and left them in a pile. The ground was now covered in a light snow, so there were footprints outside my living room window. Someone had been there. It had been a camera that flashed. By the looks of all the prints, they had been there for a while and even moved around. There were skid marks where they were probably moved quick when I looked at the window. I put my foot beside the print. It was close to the same size as my shoe. Pony had bigger feet. Maybe it was a younger person. I thought about getting Brandy to check out the footprints for evidence in the morning, but the temperature went back up overnight, and the snow and prints vanished. In the morning, it was just wet grass. I could ask around the neighborhood later and see if anyone else noticed a peeping Tom or strange flashes. Maybe it was just a horny adolescent who didn't know how to handle his raging hormones. My kitchen and living room were all open. I had stood there naked many times. Someone could have stood out there watching me, violating their own body. I guess I put a show on for the little perv. Someone had been out there watching. Who? I felt like someone followed me the other night, but did they? For a moment I stood still, looking out as if I could look back a couple hours. I locked all the doors and windows, plus closed the blinds tight so nobody could see through. My bedroom spelled of sex, cologne, and perfume that wasn't mine. I put the knife under my pillow and was able to fall asleep, but noises kept me opening my eyes. Do you know that sleep when your brain is still active even though your body isn't? I finally gave in. I got dressed, I got a taxi to HQ, and went right for the gym in the basement. A cool shower after a workout, and I was almost awake. That's when I got the text from Brandy. We had a DNA match.